Your weather first with Storm Team 5. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Storm Team 5 meteorologist Chad Rathesburg. Lots of sunshine across the area once again this afternoon. Another mild afternoon as well. Temperatures currently in the upper 70s, low and even some mid 80s. Slightly cooler right along the Lake Michigan shoreline. Just a few high level clouds now moving into the Northwoods. Your forecast here for this evening, not looking all that bad. Temperatures eventually falling back into the upper 60s by 10 o'clock with a few more clouds building in and then a rain chance by early tomorrow morning. More on that coming up. Local 5 News at 4 starts right now. Your stories, our community. This is Local 5 News with Chris Schuler and meteorologist Chad Rafelisberger. Right now on Local 5 News, protests continue to take place across Northeast Wisconsin to bring awareness about the recent events unfolding in the death of George Floyd. And good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us today for I'm Chris Schuler. The death of uh, George Floyd has caused protests all across the world, and they are continuing right here in Northeast Wisconsin. And today, a peaceful protest is set to take place in Sturgeon Bay, and that's where we find Local 5's Aaron Taylor to join us with more on the effort. Hi, Aaron. Chris, the protest isn't officially supposed to start until 5 o'clock tonight, but there's already a crowd that's starting to gather out here on 3rd Street in Sturgeon Bay. I'll step aside, give you guys a better look at that. Now, I talked to some of these early birds. They said that they decided to come out early to make their voices heard. Sturgeon Bay isn't a big city, but there's a lot of traffic out right now, so these protesters have a pretty large audience. There's been a lot of honking and a few who have spoken out to to let them know that they disagree with these protesters. Now, the protesters I spoke with today say it's important to get their message out there. Worldwide and why not in Door County get out and protest and let people know, white people and black people and people of all colors, that we need to be out here and we need to have our voices heard. And the official protest again isn't starting until 5 o'clock tonight. You can stay tuned to Local 5 on air on, and online. We will bring you all the updates. For now, live in Sturgeon Bay, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. And thank you, Aaron. A peaceful protest is taking place right now in Oconto. Organizers say the protest will take place until 5 this afternoon near Charles Street. Now, leaders say the goal is to bring awareness, attention, and understanding of the events unfolding in our nation and to help alleviate fear and confusion within the community. Now, they say they want the public to know that small town people are not small minded. Local 5 will have more on this story coming up tonight. Our Green Bay Police Chief Andrew Smith stopped by the Local 5 studios today to talk more about uh, this past weekend's violent protests in the city. Now, last Sunday's peaceful protests in the city turned violent with businesses being damaged and looted. Marathon gas station on the city's east side was vandalized and someone even fired shots into the air. Now, rocks, bricks and other debris was thrown at police officers, some suffering minor injuries. The chief commented on the National Guard being used here in the city. The National Guard is not patrolling neighborhoods. You won't see them driving their Humvees through your neighborhood. You won't see them uh, walking footbeats or anything like that. They are to guard uh, federal, state, and local uh, municipal buildings. That Smith goes on to say the Guard will free up officers to patrol Green Bay neighborhoods. And now that four officers involved in uh, Floyd's death from May 25th have been charged, what is next for the many calling for justice? Local 5 spoke with some protesters in Green Bay today protesters who say they just want their concerns to be heard through peaceful demonstration. Now, many say they regret the violent protests that occurred in the city, including the actions that fueled those standoffs with police. A protest organizer is working with others to avoid a similar situation. We're trying to make sure that we have more leaders and so if I'm not there, somebody else with the right mindset, with the right skills can lead. Another peaceful protest is planned for this coming Sunday. To national news, out of Minnesota, mourners, community members and activists gathered in Minneapolis today for the first of funeral events for George Floyd. 
Now, the Reverend Al Sharpton, uh, Hollywood celebrities, musicians, and community members were among those who eulogized Floyd at North Central University. Today was the first of three memorials for Floyd. There will be a memorial in North Carolina on Saturday and on Monday, a memorial in Houston where he lived most of his life. Packers news now. The Green and Gold have released a video featuring numerous players and head coach Matt LaFleur talking about the death of George Floyd. Now, this is nearly a week and a half after protests broke out across the nation. In a tweet this morning, the Packers stated, quote, enough is enough. It is time for change. The almost two minute long video features Devonta Adams, Mason Crosby, David Bakhtiari, Aaron Rodgers and others. That video can be found on our website. We are GreenBay.com. Latest coronavirus news now in the state of Wisconsin as the state health department confirms nearly 19,900 cases. There are a total of 626 deaths in the state. Of the 12,418 tests results available today, 4.1% of those tests were positive. Now that's up from yesterday's 2.9%. 65% of coronavirus patients have recovered and today health officials say people taking part in protests with large gatherings should continue to follow the health and safety guidelines related to coronavirus. Once you have a positive test, it is isolation, safe isolation and quarantine um, and the contact tracing that is necessary to make sure you are uh, wrapping around that positive case to keep its spread as small as possible. Now here in Northeast Wisconsin, Brown County has over 2,300 total cases. Calumet County has 79. Door County has 40. Outagamie County has 246 and Winnebago County, 309 cases. Now, the University of Wisconsin Green Bay has released a study on how the coronavirus has impacted Northeast Wisconsin's nonprofits. Now, the research included information from 139 nonprofits in the area, some small, some large. Uh, the study has found that over half had to reduce their staff. 80% also had to reduce volunteers. Three fourths are concerned about being able to properly connect with their most vulnerable clients in the community. Another survey is going to be conducted sometime in July. Well, after a 53-year run, Milwaukee World Festival Inc. has made a tough decision to officially cancel Summerfest 2020. It was announced today from the board of directors due to the uncertainty of large gatherings during the pandemic. Now, the festival was previously rescheduled to September from its original dates in June. The economic loss to the area from the cancellation estimated at $186 million. Uh, refunds on Summerfest tickets are available. Information on those refunds can be found on the Summerfest website. Turning now to a Local 5 Consumer Watch report, executives at AMC say the company may not survive to see a recovery. The nation's largest movie theater chain has been hit hard by the effects of the pandemic. All of its locations have been shut down since mid-March. AMC plans to reopen them once moviegoers are allowed to return, but the company says it's unsure how long it will last with no revenue. Job cuts from the economic downturn, they continue. Some struggling businesses are laying off employees, but other workers are back on the job. Mother Saloon in San Diego shut down because of the coronavirus, and now it's closing its doors for good. We just couldn't secure a lease in, uh, I would guess, call it COVID times, that would uh, work for us. The owners posted the news on social media saying goodbye to their customers and more than 20 employees. The weak economy has companies letting go of workers across a variety of industries, from airplane maker Boeing to Chevron and IBM. Last week, nearly 1.9 million Americans applied for unemployment benefits. But experts are encouraged to see a steady downward trend in claims since the shutdowns caused by coronavirus started. That's great. We want to see those numbers taper off. However, there are still 21 and a half million Americans currently receiving unemployment benefits. Those numbers have to start dropping for us to feel like we've reached the bottom of the labor market's crushing defeat by the pandemic virus. And while millions are jobless, other workers are now coming off the unemployment rolls as states allow businesses to return. Retailers, salons and restaurants are turning on the open sign and putting people like bartender Matt Gloth back to work. 
Being out of work for two months was very interesting. We feel confident that we're doing the right thing and taking the proper steps to get back to some sense of normalcy. But normal could be a long way off. Experts say it will take years for the economy to recover from the pandemic. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. And tomorrow, the Department of Labor will reveal the latest unemployment numbers. Now to a developing story. The Algoma Police Department says a body has been discovered in the Anape River in Algoma. The police chief says the body of a 26-year-old man was pulled from the river this afternoon. Officials are calling it an accidental drowning. It happened near a bridge where County Road S goes over the river. Family members are being notified. Autopsy results are pending. Well, most of us have spent the uh, past few months stuck inside our homes. Coming up, how a Facebook group called View From My Window is helping others travel the world through those photos. And your evening forecast is looking dry, but by late tonight and in tomorrow, that's when our next round of rain will arrive. More on that coming up in the Storm King 5 forecast. All right, almost 4.11 in the afternoon. Time now for a Local 5 Live traffic report, courtesy of the DOT's Traffic Camera Network, 41 and 441. We're back in a bit. Stick with us. You're watching Local 5 News with Chris Schuller.